Green Saints, Prophetess Dawn O'Brien's Sermon of the Lord with Dawn's Heartfelt Corner here. I want to share a dream that I had on 10 24 just yesterday. I was dreaming about saints. I uh, called it Saints. We must pray and fast in this hour. I woke up from a dream at 4 30 a.m. In this dream, I said, I am no longer going to tell Daniel what to do when his problem acts up. This is the season for fasting and praying. And then I woke up instantly. Now, Daniel's problem is anxiety. For you, it may be something different. Now, I told you uh, we were in the hospital uh, a few days ago. Uh, I should say last week. All right. Well, Daniel was overreacting because the Holy Spirit told me uh, I had a dream where Daniel was walking around you like, you know, dizzy, like not knowing what's going on. And that's what he's been going through right now. So uh, this is a confirmation to what the Holy Spirit has shown me earlier. Now, uh, Daniel has had a bad anxiety all of his life. And he, start, he had pain, migraines, headaches, you know. And so the pressure goes on and off. While we were in the hospital, he had pressure uh they gave him you know medication to calm him down but then it worked for a little while but then the pressure came back so daniel said to me uh this is more than just a healing and when we went to go get his medication the cvs store didn't even have any we had to go to another store so the first time i called too, the paramedic didn't answer the phone so i felt the holy spirit was trying to stop it uh, because the Holy Spirit did say to Daniel, what are you going to do when the medication runs out? Because saints, we can't lean upon the medication. Uh, because I got a feeling in the future, uh, because of the demonic spirits, no medication is going to work for that. Okay, It'll work for anxiety uh, um, for a little while, but then it, if it's something to do with us spiritually, it's not going to work for that. This is something God has shown me, and Daniel has even seen it more and more. Saying, so that's why it's important that we're walking with the Lord and staying covered with the blood of Jesus Christ, putting on our full armor daily, and also Psalm 91. Okay, But the Holy Spirit had said this to me in, in the dream when I said we, we need to fast and pray in this hour. He said, my children, make sure you pray every day, putting on your full armor, Ephesians 6 and Psalm 91, for your protection against the enemy. You are, you are at war in the spirit, not your flesh. Do not fight with your brothers and sisters, your family or outsiders who are not Christians. Love one another is what I heard the Holy Spirit say. Love is the greatest commandment. Matthew 22, 37 through 40. Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Verse 38, this is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Verse 40, on all these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So God is wanting us to love one another. He said, I love you, my children, unconditionally. No strings attached. Forgive you of your sins 70 times 7. You and all my children do likewise, he was telling me, says the Lord. Love the whole family of God. Uh, Matthew eighteen twenty one through 22. Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him. Up to seven times? Jesus said to him, I don't say to you up to seven times, but up to 77 times. Matthew eighteen twenty one through 22. All right. Love your enemies to persecute you, is what God said to me. Say mean things about you. Turn the other cheek, says the Lord. So you and I need to love our enemies. And that's not always easy to do, you know, when people are not very nice to us. And we're going to go through persecution. So God, I ask that you would help all of us to love even those unlovely that are not very nice to us. Love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. And pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. That you may be sons of your Father in heaven. That's Matthew five forty four through 45 You know, maybe some of you are at work, working with people that are not Christians born again. And maybe they're rubbing you the wrong way, you know. I just felt led to say this, you know. 
God allows that, okay? He will allow people to rub you the wrong way, to change you, to to make you more into his image, you know? We can either stay with it or we can run from it. And I believe, saints, in this new season, you and I are going to be faced with things that we don't want to be faced with. So we either can embrace it openly and ask God to help us or we can run from it. Um, if you're in that situation, don't run from God. Don't run from your situation. You know, just endure and ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Father, I want to pray for those that maybe are working in the workplace with unsaved believers, Lord. Uh, they don't know you, Jesus Christ, personally. And, you know, they're they're hard to get along with and they're... Um, they want to just leave their job maybe or wh wherever they're at lord i pray for them that you would just strengthen them encourage them help them lord to 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 not just get up and quit to resist the enemy because lord you're allowing this lord you want to change them and mold them into your image and that's what you are doing in each one of us jesus so help all of us lord to submit to your ways because your ways are higher than our ways lord and you know exactly what you're doing, Lord. We just praise you and we thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, God's doing a work in you and me. If we don't run from it, saints, uh, that's the main thing, you know. God wants to change us. We all are to be changed daily in God's presence. You know, but some of us don't want to change, right? Uh, and if there, maybe you've got a spouse like that. Maybe you're living with somebody, uh, your wife or your husband, and they don't want to be changed. You know, all you can do is pray for them quietly. You know, uh, you, we cannot change one another. Especially, you know, you know, if someone's been like that all their life, you know, and you are coming to try to change them, you're not going to change them. All you can do is pray for them and make sure you're doing what is right. You know, or maybe you've got children that are rubbing you the wrong way. You know, you can't always make your children do what you want them to do. Okay, but you can pray for your sons and daughters. God sees. And as we all do what we're supposed to do, God will do the changing, right? Uh, and that's a word for me as well, you know, because God doesn't want me to change my husband Daniel uh, and leave him in the Lord's hand and let God change him. And the same thing goes for him and me, uh, wanting to change me, you know. We're to love one another. You know, right now, my dad and me and my Daniel are living in the same apartment. And we're having to learn to get along. And there are times we may rub each other the wrong way. But, you know, we have to humble ourselves. And we got to say, well, we're sorry. Uh, you know, we weren't right in this, you know. And that's not always easy to do, to humble ourselves. And that's what God wants us to do. Be meek and humble in this hour, saints, amongst one another. All right? Um, I'm going to come back and give you one more word. Praise saints, the sheep are about to be scattered. All right? Talk to you soon.